Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Software Inc. And today we have a quick tutorial here for you. So one of the most asked questions that we we get on Software Inc. is a very simple one, one actually. If you take a look here, the floor is filthy. Yes, it needs cleaning. And a lot of people just don't know how to get it clean. And if you get a bigger team, you start getting more complaints about it. So how do you get your floors cleaned? So that's a pretty simple way to do it. You can get on the manage staff option in here and you can call cleaning. Just doing that, it will assign someone in here. And if you let it run, they arrive, they will clean the floor and they will charge you by hour basically and they'll clean all your floor and that's it and they're gone just like that so you can do uh, this in some other way as well so you have the option here but let, let's yeah let them go uh, you have the option to actually hire someone to clean so what you can do you can hire a cleaner and you can select the time that they arrive and that they leave. So you can change um, just a range of time here. You can ask them to arrive earlier before everyone starts or later, or you, you choose. That's how you do it. And then every single day or a game month, they will come back and clean your rooms. Now, if you have a huge team, a huge uh, office, like multiple floors, multiple buildings, something like that, you might need more people. So what you actually have to do is probably assign teams to different uh, times. So for example, one from six to 10, another one from 10 to 14, and maybe two more from 14 to uh, 18 and they should cover the whole day or maybe they come at night this is also something you could do so doing this uh will make sure that you don't have to think about that they'll come every single day and they'll do it for you i'll just let it run so you can see how that works on uh when we get to the next day so they come automatically and they will just work so I'm going home and let's speed things up and there they are. So 6 a.m. the first thing arrives and they, they have nothing to do because everything is clean and then the other team arrives and they finish, they have nothing to do, they go away. So the bigger the office, the more you have to do, so you don't have to worry too much about that as well. Uh, and as a bonus content, here you can also call maintenance and IT support. So maintenance will help you keep your furniture, your uh, security cameras, everything work working. So if you take a look, for example, at your share, you have a state for that. Uh, this state will decay over time, and when it's too low, it's gonna broke. So calling maintenance, they will fix all that, and they'll keep everything on the, your, the, their best state and what happens is that the lowest the states the lowest the comfort so keeping all the maintenance ca coming and fixing everything will help you with that as well so if you want to have someone coming every day as well higher maintenance same thing as the the cleaning set up a time and they'll come and do the, the work for you the it support this will help fix uh, computers, servers, and printers. So same deal here. You have a state, the lowest the state, the slowest the, um, the computer or uh, the, the printer or the server or uh, whatever it is that you're using. And you can call an IT support to fix that as well. And again, you can hire someone so you don't have to keep coming back and calling just a couple of hours so you can hire someone so they come every single day 
Again, this is useful when you have a bigger office and you have uh, a lot of people and equipment. So otherwise, I'll just suggest calling, calling someone uh, when you need it. Now, uh, this is maintenance, cleaning, and IT support. You can hire a receptionist if you have a reception. So you basically have to put down the reception desk if I can find that. There you go. If you have a reception desk, you can hire a receptionist. That's the deal. And hiring a receptionist will allow you getting uh, deals as well. So uh, this is the receptionist. Now cook is when you have a kitchen in your office and you can hire a cook to make meals for your staff. So same deal. They'll come back every day from that time you specify and cook some meals for everyone in the office. Uh, courier is when you have a printer and you need to deliver the softwares that you, you are printing. Then you need couriers to deliver that software. So that's where you hire couriers. They you come back every day as well and they'll do that for you or you can just call them. But for this one, it's very expensive just calling them by hour. So it's better if you just get one for your company. Uh, and finally, security. Uh, see, let me just remove all, sorry, all. I can see the button there. Can I dismiss everyone? Uh, these are the ones that are currently in here. So for security, when you hire securities, you have to hire one per door you have in your uh in your room so for example this building has one outside door so i need one security but then i need 24 hours and i'll explain why so 8 to 16 16 to 0 and i could just do 0 to 8 so 24 hours i have security and if I keep this running now, you see what happens when we get at the specific time that they arrive. Uh, so we we'll have someone at the door 24-7. And that means that if anyone comes here and try to steal things, we have someone at the door looking for us. This building is a little bit tricky. You can see that it keeps changing from this door to that one and this one again. This means that this isn't gonna work. We need three because we need one per door. So obviously we just use this one, but they don't know, they, they'll cover all entrance. So we, we need actually need three per, uh, per door here. And so if anyone tries to steal, They'll get to the door, they'll see the secret guards, and they'll go away. So that's how you don't get your uh, things stolen as well. So that should cover all the options that we have here. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn something from it. And let me know if you have any more questions about any mechanics of the game or how this, uh, all this hiring stuff works or if i forgot something so thank you again and i'll see you in the next one bye bye